Hello. Uh, I got so many hits on my last video for Mini OS Linux. I want to do another one and show you how to turn on the uh, login so you can put in your username and password. There was uh, so many hits on the last one. Thank you for that. Not many likes, but I understand that because there's a lot of video videos I like too, but I don't always hit like because when I do it, puts it in my like area. I try to save that for videos that I want to reference and maybe look again, look at them again later, take another look at them. So I understand that. But uh, while we're talking about Mini OS Linux, you can see down at the bottom uh, left hand corner of my screen, I am in Linux Mint Cinnamon. So, but we want to take a look at how to edit the configure file to turn on your uh, login option. So, if you did follow the last video, and hopefully it worked out good for you if you did, here is the uh, jump drive that I did. We said we end up with two folders, EFI and Mini OS. So, of course, I got my other one up here that I drug out. And here's the configure system, the configure file for that. And uh, before you do this, it's then Mini OS folder. Before you do this, make a copy of this in case you mess it up and want your original one back. Just slide it over here and uh, that particular time it didn't copy, did it? Okay, so let's see if it'll copy. Let's see here. Edit and um, copy. Okay, it stayed there that time though, so good. We're going to close it off and make sure it did. That way we got a copy of it. And like I say, here's my uh, mini OS jump drive. Now we've got a safe copy of it here. Okay, we're going to show you how to go in and edit this configuration file to turn on your login capability. Okay, like I said, this won't be super secure or anything, but you'll be able to see it work, and it might keep some non-techie people out of your computer. But uh, this is made simple. I mean, so you can take a jump drive from computer to computer. It's not be, trying to be no super, super secret or super hidden thing. But uh, we want to swallow this way up so you can see it. Okay, when you're dealing with a uh, program file like this, you only want to change what you need to change, and that's it. You don't put no extra spaces or nothing like that. First thing we want to do where it says auto login, we want to change this true to false. So you're going to put your cursor right on the inside of that quotation. Not on the outside, but on, we don't want to change that. Put that cursor right there on the inside of that quotation uh, like that, and just take the true off by backspace and type in false, just like what you see up up there above it. Type in false. Okay. And now, if you want to get rid of that password evil, now up here at the top, the username, you're kind of stuck with that. Somebody said that in Linux one time you can't change the username. But the only way you can do that is if you make another account and then delete that account with the username once you don't want. I think it can be done that way. I haven't found no easy way to do it. In this Linux yet, but like I say, there's a lot of it I haven't explored, and uh, it's a very simple system. It's not made to be a daily driver or anything. If you want to change this password to something that you other would otherwise like, so you can just uh, backspace this password, and you can type in any words you want. Let's type in, uh, I don't know. Let's type in uh, jump drive. Let's make it all small letters. Now that, that's kind of big, isn't it? Let's do this. Let's, let's call it uh, Linux. We'll just call it Linux. How about that? Uh, that's a new, nice easy word. So... We've changed those two things. We haven't added no spaces. And so this right here will turn your 
log into manual. And this right here will change your password. That is capital L. Do you want to make it a small L? Let's leave it a capital. We'll leave it a capital. Just remember when you log in, that's what it's got to be. So, uh, wherever your save is, hit here and hit save. And that there will save your configure file. All right. Let's exit out. We'll open it back up. And uh, we'll see if it has been changed. We're going to uh, swallow this back up. Yep, it saved it. Uh, login, auto login, false. We want. We don't want auto login. We want manual. And uh, password is Linux with a capital L. So if you did that, the next time you log in, it should the the login option the with the two little spots to type in the username and the password should come up. Type in your username, hit tab or cursor down with your mouse and type in the word Linux with capital L and it should work. And if it don't, you've already got this that file up here that we saved. You can just put it, delete this one and put it back in here. So uh, <clears throat> hope that helps. Another thing I'm going to do maybe this weekend, I'd like to make another video. My idea is on this, if you like want to, when you're taking it from computer to computer com to computer, different computers, you might want to add files to it. And because it didn't really like my XFAT format, it wanted to stay, when I did mine, it wanted to stay on, uh, on VAT32. What I would like to do is partition, because I'm going to show you something. Let's go down here and hit uh, properties on this jump drive. See, look, wow. Just out of 32, 29 gigabytes, which is a 32 jump drive, only just a fraction of it is used. I mean, just about like one gig or so. 995.8 megabyte used. So that is just so small. And uh, with a 29.8 free. I mean, that is just in total capacity 37. So you can just see, wow. Okay, what I would like to do is partition this drive off and like make like maybe I don't know three quarter of it or five eighths like let's say if we took I'd like to do a 64 gig uh, anyway and not 32 when I, when I actually do my drive after I get after I get used to changing this and get it the way I want it and make one that I want to keep I want to get like a 64 gig drive and uh, I want to keep like 50 gigs just for space I'm going to call it I'll call this here my jump drive mini OS Linux and I'll call my storage area I'll call it like uh, I'll call it like mini uh, OS store or, or something like that I've got it written down here somewhere I think what I wanted to call it uh, I'll probably call it mini OS sharing that way there because the problem is if you if you want to drop something in on in your operating system, you're on another computer. You have to try to work your way through all them folders and to your username and put it in the proper folder, you know, and put it in your pictures or put it in your videos. This way, here if you had a share area, you could just drop your videos in or your pictures in or your songs in. Then you'd have your jump drive ready to go. You'd be able to access them because whenever you brought your operating system up. It would see this is almost like an extra jump drive or something. It'd see the other partition where when others' computers could e access it easy and you could access it easy from the mini OS. Just an idea. I don't know if it, me rattle on makes any sense or not. And I don't want to go on too long here. Hope you've enjoyed this and hope you can get your uh, hope you can get your uh, logo on screen to work good. Your your logo on option. Uh, thank you for watching. And Please come back.